have a fantastic job. I work in the, the best industry in the world, the elevator industry. My name is Dylan Angus. I'm a construction safety supervisor for TK Elevator. We're currently in Burnaby, British Columbia. This is gonna be a residential condominium building. The type of equipment going in is traction elevators. I work underneath the regional safety manager. He manages the entire province. Our construction department's so big that they needed a safety person for just the construction departments. A typical day for me, ideally, is going to three, four job sites a day, running through audits, making sure that everyone's doing their job safely and that they have the tools, training, and the knowledge to do their job safely. You have to be boots on the ground for safety if you really want to affect change. As per the regulations here in British Columbia, you always have to work with the hierarchy of controls when you're determining how you're gonna control hazards. And so what that means is at the top is elimination. So obviously you wanna eliminate the hazard from the workplace. The very bottom is PPE. We opt for as much as we can, eliminating and substitution and engineering out hazards. We're relying less on PPE and relying more on engineering to keep ourselves actually separated from the hazard. At TK Elevator, we have these things called behavioral traps. One of them is diminishing risk. That can be likened to complacency. Complacency kills. You do something a thousand times, you get complacent. But when you're at work and you're, you're working in an industry such as the elevator industry, with all the hazards that come with it, you cannot afford to be running on autopilot. Now, another one of the behavioral traps is fear factor. And fear factor is not you're at the top of the hoistway and you suddenly realize you're afraid of heights. That's not what fear factor is. Fear factor is if you get told to do something that you think is unsafe, but you're too afraid to speak up. Or you see your colleague about to do something unsafe and you're too afraid to speak up. Getting to know these guys and you know, asking them about their family and their kids, that's what really motivates me to get up in the morning and get out here and do my best to keep them safe. Seeing these guys go home safe at the end of every day, that's what brings me the most joy. And uh, I hope we can continue to do that for as long as I'm here.